Hello, this is Kiss Blue, and welcome back to Gate Crashing Time! Now, you see what I mean? She knows something's up immediately, because she just got trapped. But had we just shot her while the parade was moving, when she was sitting down in the parade, she wouldn't have seen it coming. And we would have probably been successful. I I can't. I'm sorry, I can't do it. I always choke like this. I try to act all cool, joke around, but I just can't handle the pressure. Forget it, just shoot. My bullet, the sorceress, I'll go down in history. I'll change the history of Galpadia. Of the world! It's too much. Just shoot! Calm down, Irvine. Everyone's waiting on you. I don't think putting more pressure on him is going to help, Squall. I don't care if you miss. Whatever happens, just leave the rest to us. Just think of it as a signal. A sign for us to make our move. That's it. Please. Pull the damn trigger. Yep, she saw it coming. I mean, you were on target. Your aim was perfect. Just, it was the plan that was that was deeply, deeply flawed. Just leave the rest up to us. Uh, yeah. We definitely want to put our junctions back on. Uh... I don't suppose I can use a tent right now. Uh, no. Okay, I guess we're just going to leave our HP the way it is. I mean, it's fine, right? It probably is, actually. I am curious, though. Because I'm going to get, like, a butt-ton of AP from this. Actually, that's not that much. Well... Not as much as I thought it was, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is probably fine. I really want to get this stuff, but man, encounter none. Encounter none. <laughs> okay, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see, I have a lot of potions, right? Yeah, okay, I'll be fine. I was thinking for a moment there, gee, maybe I should have given Squall some the magic skill and a bunch of and a stack of cures. But no, I have like 30 potions. I'll be fine. Hello, Cypher! And Adia. Well, this is how it turned out. So you've become the sorceress's lapdog? I prefer to be called her knight. This has always been my dream. Boss time! One on one versus Cypher! I'm gonna enjoy kicking his ass! Uh, okay, I can actually draw a cure from you. Uh, but I think I would still rather. Well, I guess it's not really strictly necessary. Okay, so, I will say. It would be useful to have, um, fire resistance in this fight, because Cypher uses a lot of fire attacks. Um, I do not have fire resistance on Squall, however. 
But uh, it'll be fine. It, it'll be fine. We're just gonna kick his ass. Uh, really quickly, actually. Wow. Cypher, I was expecting you to put up more, more of a fight than that. I guess it is the first duel boss, so... You're losing it, Cypher. A seed. Planted in a rundown garden. Now for the real boss fight! Yeah, this was not one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, so, remember the accursed seed fund? Yeah, that's scary. Uh, so remember when I said that Carbuncle would be really useful really quickly? Oh hey, that got fully healed. That's nice. Uh, well, guess what? Ooh, Dispel and Cura. I don't actually need Cura that much, but I do need more Dispels. And I want to steal from her for sure. Yeah, this is good. Here's the thing. Well, first of all, let's watch Carbuncle. Carbuncle is adorbs. But also, having casting Reflect on everyone is pretty useful here. As you might imagine. Now, you notice that I immediately used uh, Carbuncle with Squall again. You see, when you cast Reflect on yourself, Idea will immediately start casting Dispel to get rid of, of Reflect. This is a good thing because, well, first of all, she attacks with almost nothing but magic, so she kind of needs to. But it's good for us because it means we can get her into a loop of casting Dispel on us. If we just spam Carbuncle. And man, you better believe I'm gonna spam Carbuncle. Um. Having said all this, I'm pretty sure you're actually allowed to lose this fight and the story will still progress. I'm like 80% sure. My, my notes say that you can. Uh, if you're unprepared to handle her. <laughs> but frankly, Carbuncle makes her kind of a joke. Of course, you don't get rewards for beating her, if you don't beat her. Uh, but you can, in fact, lose, and you will still... You will not game over on the, for losing this fight. Which, I mean, it is reasonable insofar as she does, like, kick serious ass. If you don't have your junctions up to stuff, I could see this being a pretty damn hard fight. Of course, if you're breaking the game, it is a joke. Hell, if you have Carbuncle, it's... In general, it's still, like, pretty much a joke. There's just nothing she can really do to you once you start spamming Carbuckle. convenient for the drawing that I want to get done, you know? <laughs> anyway. You know, actually it occurs to me, I'm seeing a lot of big numbers, so her magic defense must be surprisingly low. Wait, Dispel is probably my best 
magic that I have available right now for junctioning to spirit. Hmm. Anyway. 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 Um. I realize that this somewhat takes away from the drama when I when I just draw spam against every other fight, or rather against every other boss. But man, like bosses are legitimately the best sources of most of the best spells in the game. So it's like it's sort of a case of what do you expect me to do? <laughs> the game made it so that this is made in such a way that this is the optimal strategy. Well, actually, no, that's not strictly true. The most optimal strategy is to just use nothing but items to get all the best spells. But you still end up in this sort of situation. I mean, there are a couple spells that are just easiest to get from a boss like this. If not necessarily optimal. And I mean, I like it, still. Gameplay-wise, my favorite thing... Uh, I actually really like the gameplay in Final Fantasy VIII because it is so easy to break. It is not a hard game at all once you know what you're doing. But it provides that sort of that sort of rare feeling you get where you can make it easier for yourself. And it's the the easiness you get from it is like directly proportional to how much work you put into totally breaking it. And it's just, like, really nice, you know? Uh, right. I guess you'll just attack now. Um, you're still using Carbuncle. Uh... Whatever. This is a, this is a really stupid setup. Actually, no. I want to steal her thing. I don't even... Oh, actually, I do remember what it is. And I do actually really want to steal it. So, we're gonna mug. And then after I have finished stealing from her, I can go back to drawing some more of Irvine. Because that's sort of hilarious. But also, I do genuinely, genuinely want more of her uh, dispels. Actually, I put Brothers on Renoa, so I can't even summon it right now. Hmm. That was an oversight. I guess it's not really important in this battle in any case. It is something I'm gonna need to keep in mind for future fights, though. I mean, she does occasionally do Astro Punch, which is her only thing that's not a spell that she can do. But as you can see, it does pretty pitiful damage. Damn it, Irvine! Right, like, I don't even want to hit her with freaking Renoa at this point, because I'm afraid I won't steal the item. It's not essential that I steal it, but I do still sort of want it. Okay, we got it. It was an elixir. Yeah. Um, elixirs are really good. And we don't have... Actually, I don't think I had any before now. Maybe. I, I might have had some. I don't really remember <laughs> that well. Uh, well, whatever. It, I think it's still worthwhile to steal it, regardless. The other bonus of spamming Carbuncle like this so much is that it shoots the Squall's compatibility with Carbuncle through the freaking roof. Which is good, because, like... Usually, when you use a GF like Carbuncle, you want it to go off really fast, you know? 
and this makes it go off pretty damn fast. Like, Carbuncle will be significantly faster to use at by, when this battle is over than it was at the start. <laughs> I guess it's a good thing I upgraded Renua's um, weapon. <laughs> Makes her pitiful damage a little bit more worthwhile here. <laughs> Let's see. At my level, the Sorceress probably has around 2,000 HP. So... She probably won't last too much longer, actually. I mean, I guess I could just use Scan, then I would know. But, eh, I'm not really too interested. <laughs> Actually, I am genuinely sort of interested. I want to know how much HP she has. But it's not something that's important for me to know. And that's, that's the difference there, really. I may be interested, but I'm not interested in a capacity that is even remotely important for me. Because I am a Dia proof. I actually feel like maybe they should have given you Carbuncle after this fight. Just because, like, it really does make a Dia joke, you know? And this would have felt like a much more impactful fight if you had to actually deal with her high-level spells for the whole thing. Instead of, instead of just as long as it takes to use Carbuncle the first time. Oh well. Hmm. I'm trying to- I'm also trying to think, since, since this is taking a while, like, how many other fights are there in the future where I really want to just spend time draw spamming? Like, boss fights, that is. I can think of a few. Um... But for storyline bosses, hmm, I can only think of two st more storyline bosses where you really want to spam draw. Although admittedly, there may be more that I'm just forgetting about. Of course, there's a whole lot of optional bosses where you want to do that. Uh... I wonder how much to spell that Irvine has. Okay, that was a one. Hopefully that means he's just full now. That would be ideal, I think. Because I really don't need to draw more Cura. Cura is, like, strictly just for healing at this point. The only thing Cura, the Cura spells are good for Junction to is HP, and I have Curaga for that. Perfect! Now I can start killing her at a, at a reasonable- Oh hey, I haven't used Diablos yet either, have I? I'm pretty sure she's immune to Diablos, but we'll do it anyway. Just so we can show off, off Diablos once. Yeah, like, Carbungle's already noticeably faster than Diablos. That's what happens when you spam the crap out of it. And there we go, Diablos, Dark Messenger.
I mean, it's pretty cool, at least. Yeah, definitely pretty cool. It's just a shame that it is a useless summon. Yeah, uh, that's what happens when an enemy is immune to Diablos. It just misses. Every single time. Okay, we can speed this up now. Irvine, use the power of gun. Okay, also, I think she has more than 2,000 HP, maybe closer to 3,000. <laughs> maybe even more than that. She caps out at 7,000. I don't know what level that is that she caps out on. If I had to guess, probably that's around level 30. The 7,000. So, that would make this... Hmm... If so, I'm a third of that, so... I mean, that puts me back at, like, 3,000. Hmm. Anyway. Anyway! Yep, you do that. I mean... She can't have that much HP left. I could probably start attacking with Skull, actually. Carbuncle is fast enough, and... She is using the spell seldom enough that I probably only need to carbuncle every other time. Hmm. But on the other hand, if I act with Squall, I sort of want to draw a dispel. Yeah, I'll just keep using carbuncle. be such a hard memory. Actually, honestly though, it might be a little too hard without Carbuncle. Like, I feel like if you didn't spam Carbuncle and you didn't have really good junctions, it would be really easy to just lose here. But maybe that's like, maybe that's the idea. Maybe that's the idea. Don't get Carbuncle, just lose against her. You know? I could actually sort of see that. Oh, okay, there we go. Finally! Impudent Seeds! 20 AP. Yep. So, uh... Squall took, uh, Ice Javelin to the shoulder. Oh, that impaled him. Good thing he didn't hit anything vital, right? I mean, no, like, he's... His life is definitely in serious danger here. Um... Yeah. And on that note... Join me next time for the start of Disc 2. This has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII, and have a good day. Bye!